Um, what about this moment here where KVR gets his ankle stomped on? If you can see clearly right here, KVR does get his ankle stomped on right there. Um, and it causes him to go down for the second goal. People are saying uh, that could have stopped it. Big up uh, Ozan Kabak here saying, commiserations, Egal. Now you know the pain as Liverpool FC. Bro, Liverpool... Credit to Liverpool, big time credit to Liverpool. And I'm absolutely getting cooked on the internet right now because I had the audacity to, to put out a tweet where I said, um, how many how many Liverpool players get into a combined 11 with this Arsenal team? And I, I knew I knew that it would only be like a, a couple, but still like Martin Odegaard, probably that's it. But like, I am absolutely getting rinsed for this take right here. And I probably had a million takes just like this throughout the season. Fair enough. I, I I'm a fan. I got I got sucked into the season, and and you know what? I'm gonna get criticized until the end of the season, and and maybe going into the summer until next year, and that's just how it is. I gotta take it on the chin, and I gotta move on with it. But yeah, let's just try to bring it back to the game. Big up Kabak. Uh, people saying Agent Trussard bullshit. Trussard did well. Nah, man. Kavior had firm defending last time. Um, so, do you guys blame Kavior for going down, or do you think this was should have been overturned? Should the second goal have been overturned? Because some people are saying the second goal should have been overturned. Some people are saying they blame KBR for going down too soft and they're like, you should have stayed up. He should have continued defending. But I mean, look, this is his first season in the league. He's a very young player. What is he, like 20 or something? Um, he's going to definitely learn from it. I'm not going to go in on KBR because overall he's had a good game. Um, but yeah, he definitely should have just continued defending. I'm guessing they were grasping at anything to get anything given off. And at that point, the game was lost anyway. I don't really care that we conceded the second and the third. It's just... To me, it's the point, second. Do do? The, third, the, third, the third wasn't when the game was done. To me, the second is when the game was done. This is when the game was done. This second goal here. And this is where a lot of people blame Kieran Tierney. They also said Kieran Tierney's defending on this goal was poor. Do you want to maybe talk about Kieran Tierney today? Because was was it this goal that was the thing that was eye opening for people, or was it just the control of the game for Kieran Tierney? I just don't know what he did. Like, I, I even tweeted, I, got, I don't know what he's brought to the table. Like I don't. The thing is, I'm not criticizing Tierney. I mean, he is who he is. It's the same as like expecting like Granny Shaka to do Thomas Pye's role. It's not going to work. It's not who they are. Wait, and was I'm, that the first goal? I thought that was the second goal. The, the which one the. Was it was that goal the second the first goal? The no, no, that was the first goal. Inicio, Inicio scored that one, the header, where oh, Tierney that was the back first goal. Into, yeah, first goal. I'm tripping. I thought that was the second goal for some reason. My apologies, guys. My apologies. Yeah, like, the thing is, in that moment, especially when a lot of fans, and I mean an overwhelming number of fans, said Kieran Tierney's a better defender. He's this. He's that. He's more solid defensively. If he was better defensively, do you know what a better defender does in that situation? Headers the ball for a corner. Not head is it back into the middle of the box to allow something to happen, so that's where I do critique him. But then oh. on on the first goal that was scored, Jakub Kavior said on Brighton's first goal, I felt contact on on and I lost my boot. I didn't see uh, the goal. I hope VR would have intervened and ruled the goal out, but unfortunately, the referee saw it differently. After we conceded the second goal, uh, our heads dropped and we couldn't come back. That's not what I want to hear. That's not what I want to hear. Excuses uh, about the uh, excuses and like if the VR doesn't overturn it, you got to get your head into it. I understand that he would have wanted the first goal overturned. A lot of people would have, but come on, this is I don't, this is not what I want to hear from players after a three 0 defeat. Like our heads drop. What do we tell? I know he's basically telling us the honest truth. Maybe I wanted him to lie. That's not about lying, but there's some points where. It's better to say nothing than to say something. I mean, he could... Okay, I felt contact. I lost my boot. All of that. Cool. Fair enough. You're explaining the situation that happened. That's fine. But then to kind of start blaming VAR and saying our heads have dropped and all that, that's the last thing we as fans want to be hearing from our players. And especially when you've been brought in to be, like, the next thing, the next, like, potential player. Like, the mentality that you show in these moments is, is what you're going to be judged on. And if you're going to come here and say all the players drop their heads in in a season where you're competing for the title, it tells me there's something horribly, horribly wrong in this squad and something's got to give. Because that's all I'm getting from that statement. Because we got a similar interview from Granit Xhaka last year 
um, after the game against uh, thing. Now, I'm just going to show you guys this graphic right here. Uh, this right here is since William Saliba has been injured. I'm not going to lie to you. I look at this and I don't.